In the Movie Maker window, select the media you're going to use for the video. This could be video or images. If you've done a screencast, then I recommend you record them without sound. It's often easier to do a number of short screencasts and add them separately rather than try and do one single take. Once you have your media in the correct order, you can start to upload the audio tracks by clicking on the home button and selecting the down arrow by the side of record narration and then clicking on add sound. If you get into a bit of mess with timings, it's quite useful to use a static image so you can then set how long it appears. And this lets you manipulate the audio and video tracks so that they catch up with each other. If your audio file appears at the end of the video track when you've uploaded it, you can just edit it by using the narration tools option on the ribbon. On there, select the audio track and then set the start time manually so your audio starts at the time that you want.